Let's take a look at angles of rotation. When we're talking about angles of rotation, the first thing that's important is to establish some vocabulary that, we, we, that we're going to use as we talk about these angles. And to start with, we're going to talk about standard position. Standard position means that the initial side, some more vocabulary there, the initial side of my angle is right here on the positive x-axis and the terminal side is called the the other side is called the terminal side and that's this piece going right here out from the angle so this angle is in standard position because the initial side is right here on the positive x-axis and the terminal side is the other piece which is going out there now talking in terms of these angles of rotation well each section is 90 degrees so as we go around we're starting here at 0 degrees then this next piece up here is going to be 90 degrees and that makes sense because this angle right here well that sure looks like a 90 degree angle as I've always known then over here is 180 degrees and that's the straight angle that we've learned about and finally down here we have 270 degrees just add 90 each time and if we added 90 more meaning if we circled all the way around we would be back to 0 or 360 degrees okay so those are how our angle measures are going to break down along with that vocabulary alright coterminal angles coterminal angles are angles that both end in the same place but we get to them in different ways and what I mean by that is in this one for example we have an angle sitting here that's approximately 120 degrees a coterminal angle to that let's say that we have a line drawn here I'm just gonna put it right over the top so that's our our first piece and then let's say that I'm gonna rotate around negatively so here we go I'm going around this way Okay, this would be negative 90 as we go on around here, negative 180, and then if I go up to right here approximately, that would be matching up, which would be about negative 100, 240, excuse me, negative 240. So 120 positive and negative 240 would be what's called coterminal angles. They end at the same place, but it's not the same value. We didn't get there the same way. So again, for that one, I started here, but instead of going the positive way, this would give me the positive 120. I go this way to get to that angle, and it's negative 240. We call those again coterminal angles. Okay, reference angles <coughs> are the positive acute angle that is formed with the x-axis so as we look at this one right here we have an acute angle here's my x-axis remember the horizontal axis there's an acute angle right here and that's going to be what we call our reference angle and that's going to be useful as we work to find trigonometric um, ratios with these angles so this one 120 degree <sighs> excuse me 120 degrees to get here then it's 180 total so how far is it from here to here well in this case the reference angle would be 60 degrees it's that acute angle that's formed with the angle and the x-axis. Let's look at a few other examples and talk both about coterminal angles and reference angles. So let's start with, let me just jot down a few here. 120, we did that one. Um, 30 degrees and negative 60 degrees. Okay, and also we'll take a look at 140 degrees 30 degrees and I don't need 30 degrees twice that's silly how about 45 degrees 
and negative 165. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at what each of those look like. Well, we already did 120, and we talked about coterminal and reference angles for that one. So now let's take a look at 30 degrees. And I'm just going to grab a different color here. And again, imagine that it starts here. So I'm going to start right there. And then I'm going to rotate around to 30 degrees. So that puts me uh, somewhere about in that neighborhood right there. Okay, so coterminal angles. It would be another angle that I could create that's going to leave me at the same place. Well, one way I could leave myself at that same place is to go all the way around and then an extra 30 would drop me right there again. So that would be how many degrees? Let's see. All the way around is 360. Then up 30 more would leave me at 390. So a coterminal angle to 30 degrees would be 390 degrees. Well, another way I could go about this is to go back this way. And, excuse me, if I rotate in the negative direction, remember this would be negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, all the way down, and this would be at negative 330. So negative 330 would be another coterminal angle to 30 degrees. And did you notice how we got there? Well, what we can do to find coterminal angles is to add or subtract 360 degrees because really what that does is it just adds another rotation as we're going around here. So that's how we can find our coterminal angles. So using that logic, let's take a look at this one. We said coterminal angles for 30 was uh, 390, or excuse me, yes, that's right, 390 was one example, and also negative 330 would be coterminal to 30. Okay, how about negative 60? Well, negative 60 is going to put me down somewhere in this neighborhood. If I want coterminal, well, how do I end in that same place? Well, I could go around this way to negative 60. Oh, excuse me. Which is going to put me around over to 300. So 300 would be coterminal to negative 60 ends in the same place again and well let's see if I subtract 360 from 60 that's gonna give me negative 420 so that would be another example of a coterminal angle again I can get those by adding and subtracting 360 or multiples thereof if I wanted to add 720, which would be two times around, I could certainly do that, and that would be coterminal as well. Okay, let's talk about reference angles now, and I'm going to go over to this one here. For reference angles, remember it's that positive acute angle that's formed with the x-axis. So 140 degrees, well, first let's sketch in our um, initial side of our angle there then 140 degrees is going to be over something about like that okay and let's talk about the reference angle reference angle again is the acute angle that's formed with the x-axis so in this case there's two angles up here there's this one right here from there to there and there's this one well the acute angle is this one and if this is 140, what I'm really interested in is how far is it from here to here. Well, this is 180, so it's 40 degrees from there to there. So the reference angle for 140 degrees is going to be just 40 degrees. Basically turns out to be the distance from 180. 45 degrees. Hmm, let's think about that one for a second. Well we have a 45 degree angle so let's just pop that in here something like so and notice the acute positive acute angle well 
This one is an obtuse angle, so right here is my acute angle, and that's just 45 degrees. So those are pretty straightforward. If it's less than 90, the reference angle is just going to be the angle itself. So that's 45 degrees. For this last one, let's take a look at the negative 165 degrees. Well, again, my initial side would be right here and then negative 165 well let's see this is negative 90 this would be negative 180 negative 165 takes me back just a little bit somewhere about in this neighborhood okay well the positive acute angle formed with the x-axis here's my x-axis I've got two angles there's this big one and this one right here that's going to be my reference angle. So, I take a look. How far is that from 180, basically, is the question. Well, that's negative 165, so this angle is 165. It's 15 away from 180. So, my reference angle, in this case, is going to be just 15 degrees. Okay, so vocabulary in this section that's uh, very important when we're talking about angles of rotation standard position has the initial side right here on the positive x-axis again that's the initial side the terminal side is the other side of the angle that we rotate around here to find um, where we're going based on that angle measure coterminal angles are ones that end in the same place we get those by either rotating around in the opposite direction clockwise or counterclockwise or we can just make an extra trip around so say in this case I wanted to go to 30 well I could go to 30 that's one way to get there but I could go all the way around and then up again to 390 that would also leave me at 30 so that's coterminal angles and finally reference angles are the positive acute angles that are formed with the x-axis and those are going to come in handy when it comes time to work with some trigonometric functions as we work with these larger valued um, angles so again look for that positive acute angle made with the x-axis sometimes it might be over here sometimes it might be on the other side just uh, be on the lookout for that and one last thing, remember in our angles of rotation, counterclockwise is positive and clockwise is negative. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math and I know you will do fantastic.